Hello and welcome today we're taking a look at There Is Only Power. This is a strategy roguelike available on itch.io for free. Uh, the idea being here, important to point out first off, we are the bad guys. There is this kingdom, we have uh, been woken up by some friends, and we decided we want to go and kill and take that kingdom for ourselves. We have choices. We can either be a lich, we can be a battle mage, a, a psychomancer, an archmage, an illusionist. They all do different things. This plays out to where we sort of turn base, make our way slowly through the kingdom, stopping by farms and harvesting some souls, maybe the local tavern, and then eventually getting powerful enough with ourselves, with our, um, our, our grunts in front of us, taking blows and building up a bit of an army on the way to the main castle to take it to win the game is the whole idea here. Uh, when you start the game off, you can only be the Lich. They all have different abilities. This guy, whenever he consumes souls, for instance, walking into a farm and, you know, taking souls, however you want to do it, uh, you can use it to replenish health. They all do different things. Now, as we start the game, you can only play as the Lich. When you do certain things, you can unlock these things. If we want to be lazy, though, like we're going to do today, we can actually turn that off and say, um, unlock all characters. So now we can play as anybody. Now. Okay, so I've only played as a Lich. This one is is nice because uh, well, it heals up along the way. Uh, the Illusionist uses Shadow Mana to summon illusions during fights, which might be kind of helpful. Uh, Battle Mage is a frontline caster. Whenever we take a hit, we gain mana, which I don't see that be happening very often. The Psychomancer channels inner psychosis to generate mana. I don't know what that means either. Archmage generates, generates arcane power by casting many spells. I'm assuming that means that he will gain mana by casting spells. Um, I think I want to try the Illusionist. The, the Lich is nice, because he can bring, uh, health back. Um, I, I'm actually going to stick with the Lich, because I feel like I might be able to live a little longer with the Lich's healing ability. Because you don't heal on your own. The only way you can heal is by, some, by, you know, using souls. So there's the capital city. That's our goal. We need to get there. Of course, random map every time. Two proud men. Oh, have awoken you from your eternal slumber. They begin to explain their plan to use your power to control the kingdom. What do we do? We kill them and harvest their souls. We have now two co we have yes two souls in our uh, I don't know our our uh, satchel. Uh, we can use these souls. We can consume them and randomly get a mana of some sort. We have water mana. We have earth uh, fire mana and earth mana. Now using these things, we'll use certain spells that we can eventually do in combat. We've got a few things. We got a fire spear, an ice shield, a magic dart. Uh, we have some world spells we can do out here in the world as well. Uh, I'll do it one more time. We we'll get a couple more water spells. So in combat, which we'll see in just a moment. We can, say, cast an Ice Shield. It takes Water Mana to cast a shield to give us some sort of a block. Uh, while we're out here, though, I'm going to actually go ahead and use one of these things and summon a Key Loot, which is one of those cute little guys who's going to be my, well, like a, like a slave dog to help me out here. Now, on the map around the way, we have we've got, there's a meadow over here. We've got a family farm down here. We've got a, a happy family farm, another mad hermit's hut we can stop by. Let's stop off at the meadow and see what we can do over here. Place reeks of mana. Go away. Pull mana from the land, gain two random mana. Well, thanks. That's awfully kind of you. Uh, we got a ruin down here. Let's go stop by the family farm. Pick up some something to eat. As you approach, a few of the farmers eye you warily. Let's kill them. We want souls. We have a soldier standing outside this farm. Now, we have choices here. Basically, the way this thing works is the enemies always attack first, unless you have a spell that says something like first strike, like that fire spear does. Uses two of my mana. It's going to be a first strike. It's going to do four damage. We're going to go ahead and do that and cast it on him and execute our turn. Now, if we don't need to do any more because it's going to kill him, he's got four hit points, and he does two damage. You can see it right there. He's got four out of his four hit points, does two damage each turn. So if I were to not do a fire spear, he would immediately attack and do two damage to one of my frontline dogs. That's how that would play out. But I'm just going to use the mana up, why not, and burn the guy. There we go. Dogs are still here. Everyone's happy. There's no one to defend. We have won. We will harvest the family's souls. Um, actually, we have a choice. We don't have to. We don't have to kill them. Like we can be, we can be friendly. We can just enslave them and take two gold per turn and one nor nor noriety, notoriety. That's the word per turn. Uh, we'll see what that does in a second. Um, I think I would use the souls. Though. That's five souls, so I'm gonna take it. Now we have a raid party form. What that means is the local townsfolk are not happy about me burning this farm down. Uh, we can see that notoriety uses causes raid party to form and increases their strength. So we yeah be careful with that. Uh, gold you use to buy things. Occasionally we'll come across a place like maybe a market and someone will be there and say hey uh, you can just hire us rather than kill us. But yeah whatever. Uh, let's stop off at the old mad hermit's hut. Now we're trying to go. I don't know how to zoom out. I don't know that we can. I thought there was a button for it, but maybe not. Uh, our goal is to get to that capital, right? That's where sort of we make our way through this to get there. 
Um, we will level up in time. We can learn new spells like Incinerate or Adrenaline to give us uh, target ally access additional first time. And it just for the first strike trait, so we can like, help someone attack first. There's also artifacts along the way. I found like a little dog last time I was playing this. Uh, let's stop off here at the old Mad Hermit's Hut and see what there's the uh, wandering peasants going out to kill me. A crazy man offers to teach you all his magic in exchange for a minor cantrip. Ignore the weirdo. We can offer to pay him, or we can sow him a simple cantrip. We spend three random mana, but we'll gain a new spell. I think we're going to do that. So three mana gone. We're basically out of mana at the moment. We have gained a spell in here. We can choose. Do we want to summon an Akhlut? Adds. This is actually randomized too, isn't it? Weird. This is uh, what you get here is randomized each time you play the game, apparently. Because these aren't the same. This one is, and this one is, but this one's not. So we can learn to summon an Akhlut, which costs five Earth mana, like we just did, and adds an Akhlut to our party, who's a little bit stronger. Four, four health, gain one strength. After, that's pretty good. Adrenaline gives us, uh, we cost us two more mana, and target ally, we saw that before, acts an additional time during the first strike phase. Which might be nice to have. And incinerate. I'm going to go with... That's just a really powerful spell that's 20 damage. I'm going to go with the this one. I think I'm going to try to go with maybe some friends along the way here. So these guys are going to try to chase us down and try to kill us along the way. Uh, the market's at medium difficulty. Those are medium also. Let me go back to these ruins. Since I don't have any, any uh, mana at the moment. These columns are ancient. This place may contain something of value, but dangerous squatters look intent on defending the place. Fighting a counter to gain an artifact. This one's being developed by, or has been developed by poorest napkin by the way it's uh it hasn't been in development for a while he finished it i guess a while back uh i, I saw mention of mention of, of building like a, a second one of these uh, there is only power two i guess um anyway i'll, I'll have a link below and you want to check it out uh let's go ahead so now this plays out they're going to attack first they will each do one damage they may smack my uh, my dogs around uh we can do an ice shield if you wish to spend three of our mana to, to block us adds us adds a shield around us basically we don't need to because it's not going to hit us this turn so i'm just going to throw a magic dart at one of them I'm going to hope they hit. Okay, so they killed one of my dogs. But we got a dart, so there we go. And my allies are going to go do their thing. Uh, did you not? Why didn't he die? Did he have a, uh, a shield of some kind? Ignores, oh, ignores damage from all sorts. He ignores damage from him? Well, that's not very nice. Let me go throw a magic dart at him again. He's going to hit my pig, but he won't kill him. Is it a pig or is it a dog? I don't know. It's a rhino. Okay, we have one. We gained eight souls for doing that. We get to pick an artifact now. We can choose a frozen vial, which when can you convert a soul to water mana, you gain two water mana, which is good. It's randomized what we get, but that's really helpful because we use the, the water mana for shields. Evergrowing branch, when you're converting a soul to earth mana, you gain two earth mana instead, which is what we use for armies. And unlock spells in whatever order you would like. Oh, well, that's could be good. Like, we could come back here and just pick up something really cool, like, uh, like, like, uh, is there some sort of a helpful one here? Do three damage to three different random enemies. That could be really good. Um, that's, we gotta go with that. I mean, they're all really good, but I'm gonna go with that one. I don't know, do I want the extra mana? No, I gotta, I gotta go with that one. Okay, so we have an art, oops, I didn't mean to move. We have an artifact just sort of, sort of hanging around in here that's gonna help us out. So we got a party here of, of jerks that want to uh, attack us. Here's my ability to consume five souls to gain five health if I wish. Uh, I don't have any earth mana, so I can't do any more summoning, but I can go and kill some filthy farmers. Um, let's go ahead and... I don't want to take any damage, so I'm going to go ahead and throw on the old ice shield. And then once that's done, we'll throw it out. So he's going to go... I'm going to throw on the shield first. Enemies will attack, then the dart will go out, then my ally will attack. Ooh, ally will be dead by the time that happens, then. Smack him around, and I take a beating, but I have a shield, so it does me no harm. And we can magic dart him. All day, because i got plenty of shield right now. Okay. Take that, you filthy villagers. Now, if I need to, I can always harvest these souls. Which I probably should do. I'm going to harvest a few of them, give you some more mana back. Um, I'm going to keep it down to where we have like a five. Like Five, I think, is a nice level, because that way if we need to, we can... Uh, we can... Well, I don't know. Get some health back. I'll get the health back anytime. Let's get them back. Okay, I want this, because I want to get a Akhlut in my party. They seem pretty good. Oh, it's like it's one of those guys. Okay, uh, I don't know what he does, but sure. They have been—they have just attacked us. This guy gains one strength after attacking, right? So I want to—I go first. Um, they're going to be hitting him, not me. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a fire spear. So it's four damage, which is a little bit of an overkill. But I'm going to hit that guy and just get him killed off immediately. So it's just going to be us versus him. Let's quick, burn the guy away. Now he's going to attack. He's going to smack my friend around, but my friend's going to smack him back. He's going to gain his strength. After attacking, which he did, but he but he's gone. Does he keep his health? He does keep his health. 
All right. Uh, so we've got the. We already went there. Let's go to the uh, the haunted hoods. Haunted hoods. Haunted woods. Let's see what we have here. Woods are covered in. Uh, woods are covered it in a thick, pungent fog, and hear the rustle of nearby creatures. So harness a demon. Spend six mana to gain a fire spirit ally with ten health. I want that. Um, I need six mana. But if I do that, then I have the six mana. I can do it. I can spend all my mana. Or we can just fight an encounter and get 12 random mana by fighting something. I want the fire spirit. Okay, look at that guy. That guy's really good. Uh, let me spend some more of this. Harvest some more souls. We've got a farm village. We had a market over here we can go fight. Uh, and a swamp over this way. Let's go visit the old market over here, I suppose. Um, yeah. Difficulty medium over here. Gold is moving hands constantly here. Fight an encounter. Gain 75 gold and 40 notoriety. Or barter for it. Sell a random artifact for 200 gold. I like, I like that artifact. I want that artifact. So I'm going to take gold. Okay, notoriety people don't like this. So we've got a cleric here who's going to be healing everybody every turn. Every, every turn. Uh, archer's going to shoot us every turn, does four damage. And then we have two militia up front here who are just, you know, just ordinary folks. What do you do? Do melee da do X damage when attacked in melee. So do three damage when attacked in melee. So when you attack, get attacked, you fire back. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I probably don't need my shield on him right now because he's got ten health. So I'm just going to throw out. I wish I had some fire mana. But I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and hit and burn one of these little guys away. They're going to attack me first. This is going to hurt. That's going to be four, eight damage going out. It's going to hurt. It's going to burn somebody away. Okay. Oh, can I put my shield on somebody else? I think it's only on me. And my friend is gone. Okay, allies are attacking me, burning away. Those guys, it's now my turn. Um... It's just, yeah, just to the sorcerer. So we can throw it and throw away out the fire spear, however. I'm going to do that and burn away that archer before he hits us again for four damage. And then that guy's going to go and try to heal somebody. He's going to fail at it. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw out a dart that way. There we go. He's just going to heal himself, but he he's just a cleric. Clerics are worthless. Okay. Here we go. Well done, fireman. Uh, I can burn some more souls. I think I'm going to do that. Up to four of those. Let's go visit the farm village over here. Um, there's a low a low difficulty family farm. Let's go take out that. Oh, where were you? Missionaries. An army claiming to be missionaries approaches you. They've been tasked by their leader, the paladin, to remove non-believers from the countryside. Well, that would be me. Um, I can summon two key loots. I should do that just in case. I don't know if this is going to be a terrible thing, so I can only do this in the world map. So I'm going to throw out two of my dogs and see if we can... Uh, Save this guy. Okay, uh, that, that monk's going to heal folks every turn. What are you doing? You're also adding... Oh, I always have plus one strength. And you also heal. So you're a bit of a problem. So we make sure we got to burn somebody away. I can't fire at the back line. I have to fire at the front line. So we can take out one of these soldiers, though, immediately. And I don't need a nice shield. I'm just going to go ahead and burn. Which one was I, was I fighting? This one? I think it was this one. So let's fire at that one. Yeah, so he's been dealt with. He's going to do his healing. I've got shields all around. He's going to smack my dog, which is good. Dark's going to fly out, hurt him. Ally's going to burn that guy away. What do you get? Do X damage when attacked in melee. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Now, do you just... So that's going to give him three health. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know what the soundtrack is for this, but the soundtrack is really good on this. I need to figure out where... If I can just download it separately, because I have them. Uh, it's good stuff. I should dart that guy. And, yeah, that's all we can really do. He's just going to be healing somebody. He's just another worthless cleric. They're, you know, ruining the countryside. Clerics everywhere. Uh, let's continue our way onto this family farm. I have more souls. I have eight souls, which I could use to get more of that. But it's going to be an easy difficulty thing. I think we're all right. Uh, I don't need to heal anybody. Let's just move on here and see what we can find. Few uh, farmers are very wary of us. It's just one of those guys. So he'll just he does one damage. So we're just gonna burn him away. Nice easy attack. And there is the counter. That's what I was looking for. I need to figure out how to heal my friend. I should be able to level up here pretty once in a while. So we can enslave this guy or harvest him for souls. Let's take the cash. I don't have any, um, I need another, another, uh, mercenary trader, eh? Another, uh, level. 
There's an inn over here that's a low difficulty. I think we gotta go this way, though. Let me, um... Let's go stop off the inn. Nice, easy kill. 20 gold a night for you and your party. No exceptions. So we can pay him. He will heal us and my party to full, which I could use because my guy's down 4 hit points. Or we can burn it and take 10 gold, 5 souls, and 15 notoriety, which will level me up close, but not quite. Uh, I would like the health. It's only 20 gold. I'll do it. Right, so we get a warlock shack over here, another inn. We got a farm. Let's go visit the warlock. I'm going to consume some souls here. I would like another one of these Akloots. If I can get one. Man, I wish I had that that artifact that gave me like double mana would be really good, wouldn't it? Refugee child approaches from a nearby town. In all of your power, she asks to be your apprentice. Ranged ally that does three damage and has five... Yeah, of course. Why would I turn you away? Yeah, come on, young apprentice. Let's go visit the warlock shack over here. Openly admires your power. Offers to help you if you're willing to pay him. Uh, I can pay him and he will heal me with 100 gold. Uh, I don't have 100 gold, so I guess I'm just going to kill you because I don't have any other choice. Sorry, buddy. I'll give you a, sp I'll give you a spell out of this, uh, so I want to fight him anyways. I'm going to... Do I need to get another one guys? Um, I'm going to get another little meat shield because I want... I can only have five, but I don't want anyone dying. So she's back here. I'm assuming it's a she. is back here with me, so she won't take any damage. It's going to be the frontliners are going to be getting hit. We have a zombie. We've got an ancient beast who attacks twice per turn. That's bad news. Uh, we have a floating eye. Drains one mana after every attack. That's bad also. A witch does one damage to all front row opponents. And a warlock gains one block after attacking. This is going to be a difficult one. So let's fire spear. we got to burn away this guy. This two attacks per turn. That's going to be bad news. So we got to get rid of him. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and magic dart the little zombie. And then my allies will attack the back line. There we go. That hurts. Okay, one pig gun. Two pig gun. Dart goes out. And you hit the wrong guy. Oh, that's good, though. That's good. Okay, I forgot about my, <laughs> I forgot about my apprentice here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Do we want to waste another one for fire spear? Because I can... You're going to gain one... I don't think I need to waste it. It's going to hurt for a turn, but... Yeah, I'll, I, it's all right. I'll lose a mana, but I think it's... I think it's more important to save what mana I have. Oh, man, that hurt. There you go. Now he's dead. Okay, so we got some souls out of it. We got a spell out of it as well. We got a raiding party. It looks like we got two of them that popped up there. Uh, let's get a spell. I want this one. Explosive. I think I want that one. What else do we have? An action. Three strength, seven health. Gain plus one health every time they attack. Uh, Tariasug. That's very cool. Roots. Uh, target wandering enemy within 10 squares to stop them from moving so I can stop these guys from wandering around. Uh, ice armor give ally. Four block. Could be useful also. It's also a first strike thing, so I can throw it out before battle, keep my uh, my fire guy alive. Ice doesn't seem like it'd be that effective protecting a fire guy, but whatever. Target gains of this turn. Does not act this round. Could be useful. I want this one. Three damage to three different random enemies. It's five fire damage, which I don't have a lot of. What's a nice low one? That one's just a plain old fire dart. These cost me a lot. Fire Whip is a first strike. Three fire mana. Problem is fire mana. That, that is my first strike one already. Poison the first strike. Four water mana. Reduces enemy strength by three for two turns. Doesn't really do any damage though. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to get. I want to keep my friend alive, but we can always raise more friends. I'm going to take... All right, I'm going to do this Explosive Sparks. It's just too good. Okay. Um, I need some more Earth. I will take... If I get up to five, I cannot. But we can get another of these little dogs. I'm going to get him. Why'd you go back down? Who's it? Seven a second ago. It's been a bug. Um, or I'm missing something. Very possible. Uh, let's go visit the farm village now. These guys chase us. No, no big deal. Uh, we got a uh, militia here. We got an, amb uh, an ambusher, a thief or whatever, can attack us in the back row. And we got a couple archers here that do a lot of damage. So I'm going to throw out a fire spear to burn away. That's four damage. Yeah, I wish I could get that one. Uh, let's hit that guy. Burn away so he won't do any damage to us. He won't do any damage to us. These guys will still hurt. 
Oh, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't do two in a, in a round. Hmm. Because I can't attack the back row. Mm, okay. Get him out of here so he doesn't hurt me. Oh no, we're not that guy. Oh man, I like that guy. If I'd taken the thing to, heat, to, to shield him, I would have been a lot better. Yeah, boy. Whatever, wait their fate. Harvest them for 10 souls or cash return. I need the souls. So we're going to take it. Uh, oh, a raiding party showed up, apparently. Uh, ow. What's going on? These are two different raiding parties attacking each other? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> they have just killed each other, though. Whatever just happened, and I gained some souls for it. What? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Uh, But okay. I'll take the 21 souls. Sure. Uh, We don't have any extra spells, but I can. Uh, I'm going to not consume. I don't need it. I'm going to spend some... I'm going to squander some souls down to five, though. Let's get some mana in here. Finally, we're in good shape. I'm going to summon a... One of these guys. And... A dog. There we go. That's That front line is good. I can consume. I don't need to. I'm going to go visit this uh, bandit camp. Uh, let's see. Warlock Shack gave me a spell last time. Let's go there. Openly admires your power. I'm going, yeah, here we go. Raid the shack. Get spells. Notoriety. Okay. Oh, boy, what? You have a dragon? This guy can attack people in the back row, and you are war... Well, you have a dragon? Give me a warning or something. Uh, there's three damage to three different people, or the four damage straight off. If we could do this, it's an ambush. Can do people in the back row. It's not a first strike, though, so it won't, it'll go afterwards. Let's hit the fire. I can't do both of these. That would do... I think we got to do this one. They're all going to hit. He's going to hit for four damage. He ignores damage. I think it just means he ignores damage from the front row. If I can do this, it would kill off that guy, so I wouldn't have to worry about... Oh, man. 50% chance to ambush when attacking. And it's rough. Okay, I'm going to spend it. We want to hit... Does it hit the right one? Um, let's let me change my mind. First strike. I gotta, I gotta kill off this guy. All right, that saves us three damage if we hit him and kill him immediately. Even though I want to kill the dragon. Okay, that one. So he's no longer around. Let's kill that guy in one round and that guy in one round. Okay, okay. And you're ignoring the damage. You ignored like one damage or something like that. That's what's going on. Uh, I can burn him again. First strike. That's going to give me four more damage on him. And then we're going to do some magic darts on him as well. Uh, yeah. So then everyone else will chew on him if they're still alive. Which they are not. But my archer will hit him. Or apprentice. Oh, one point still. Um, I can't take that four hit points. So I got to hit him. Let's hit him. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ice shield myself. I don't want to take any damage. You can kill my apprentice, please. And then magic dart. Uh, if he's still alive, he won't be. But There we go. There you go, yeah. Kill my friend, not me. Okay, we've got another one hit point. If I have two fire damage, we can end this right now. Otherwise, he's going to die. I need one more fire damage. One more fire damage. There we go. Fire spear. Okay. Done. Man, that was rough. I saw some people in the, in the, the um, comments of the uh, on the itch page complaining about how difficult this game is. And I can see RNG being a real big issue here. Uh, so I'm going to spend those. Those. I hope we get another one. We do not. I do get a new spell, though. We can get something like... I, I got to go with this armor thing. First strike... So this has cost me three. It gives me two armor. This one cost me four, but it gives me four armor. Give target ally four block. Gives him two armor this turn. So he would just ignore two damage versus just having that blue thing over his head. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Because those stack. So I can like, give him a tons of, of armor if I wanted to. Uh, we need to spend some of our... Well, we don't have much, but we're going to spend something there and get a dog. And... Okay. 
I'm gonna go visit this bandit camp down here. Um, well, let's, let's stop by the village while, while, while we're here. Might as well. Uh, hello, party. Kill off these guys real quick. I can give myself armor on the... I was thinking about, about this. We give armor to the pig, and then he'll be, like, unstoppable. Yeah, here you go, pig. Have some armor. That'll be my whole turn. Oh, I didn't do any match. I didn't do any killing, but it's fine. They're gonna keep on hitting him. He's got plenty of armor. He'll go bite him. And they'll shoot him. Yeah, perfect. Well, there we go. That was easy. Uh, I'm gonna take these souls. I'm gonna keep on consuming them and hopefully get some more. I would like to have another pig, uh, which I can get. Um, maybe, maybe we use that. Let me stop off at this bandit camp. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and summon him, and then we'll go to the bandit camp. We're getting chased by some some priests here. Bandits are taken off guard by the boldness of someone walking into the camp. I can attack them, gain 10 souls, 25 gold, and 240 notoriety. Or I can hire the strongest, 100 gold, which I have, and gain a bandit with 6 health and 2 strength. And ambush. Ambush is great. Attacks the back lines. I will certainly hire you. Welcome aboard, buddy. There he is. I'm keeping you alive as best I can. So we got some folks chasing us down. We have a, a keep here. High difficulty. Let's stop off at these two villages first. The princess is growing stronger. She asked for more specific training. I can teach her multi-class into attack, attack twice per turn, or teach her the ability to have ambush, which attacks the back row. Um, that seems really good. Like the front row is always just a bunch of grunts. The back row is where the the problem is. The healers and all that is, yeah, uh, twice per turn though is is really tempting. Man, I don't know. Um, I gotta take the six damage. Yeah, have that. Okay. Local militia gathers. I can spend money and get a powerful artifact, which I don't have the ability to. So we're going to hit attack them now. So we got we got a uh, we got a archer and who are a strong archer, a ranger, and a militia up front here. Problem is we can't hit that archer. He's going to shoot two arrows and kill two of my pigs unless we can get some sort of defense here. I can throw some ice armor out onto. Um, I don't care about the pigs. I'm going to put it on the bandit. And then I'll throw out a magic dart at him if Casey's still... Well, I mean, I'll get him. And then everyone will attack that guy. So it'll work out all right. So two arrows are going to come out, I think. Oh, you shoot two arrows at the same thing. Okay. The only counter is melee, right? Yeah. And then... Hey, what? Was that? what? Can now... Okay. Did I, did I hit... Did I hit ambush? I guess I did. I'm losing my mind here. I apologize. Losing my mind. <laughs> Uh, now we can we can just do a fire thing and burn him away right now. Um, he can only do two damage, so he's not really that scary. He can hit this guy; he'll do one damage to him, I think. But he might do four damage. I don't have a lot of. Hmm. Let's just burn him away. Let's just in the save save our, uh, our our party members here. Okay, we got a couple souls out of it. Uh, we can get 10 more souls or more cash. I'm going to take the 10 souls. Okay, let's go ahead and consume some of those. I'm going to consume all of them. Alright, so that gives us plenty of abilities to cast more things. I need another pig. So I'm going throw a pig out there. And uh, I think we're in good shape. So we probably got to deal with that. Last time they were pretty difficult, I think. Army chaplain claiming to be uh, missionaries approaches you. Paladins to removing, removing us. Uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Uh, let me get... Oh, I couldn't get another pig. Alright. So we have to do the ice armor. Which we can do once. Um, I'm going to put it on him. And then we can do the fire spear twice. So let's hit the guys that do a lot of damage. You attack four times. That's not good. Hit him. And you're going to be healing people, right? Granting people block. Yeah, and then magic dart. That guy also. This is going to hurt. Got them hurt. They're all going to do their blocking and healing and everything, though. Oh, it heals them all the way? That's terrible. Oh, I'm going to die. Ooh, this is no good. This is no good at all. We can burn them away, uh, but we're done for. Uh, <laughs> um, I can do that. I can give myself an ice shield, and I can magic dart just random guy, but... Uh, yeah, we're done for. Unless my ranger can do something, but he attacked the front line for some reason. 
He's gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, man. That's too much. And there's no way of running away. Uh, okay. Yeah. Here goes. That was no good. That's no good at all. <laughs> well, I guess we did. We did okay. Uh, I was hoping to go a little longer than that. We gained, we got, what, 45? Is that good? I don't know. Where do we see? Oh, hey, look. My, uh, my, my new game versus my test game. I did a lot better. Uh, we can see global scores. Sure. Um, yeah, submit that score. Why not? Yeah, yeah. That's me. Okay. Uh, well, there we go. There's only power. It's a very quick, um, quick one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.